Right, bit of a fun map here to play today. All the Weatherspoons. Now, for those of you who don't know, maybe aren't from Britain, Weatherspoons are, I'm not going to call them pubs. In fact, they're kind of killing pubs off. They're kind of like a super pub that you find in town centres, city centres, uh, with really cheap beer, and they don't play music. It's just quite a bustling atmosphere. And to be honest, yeah, thinking about it, why am I doing this? Why am I advertising Weatherspoons? They do kill off the pubs. Uh, but nonetheless, we've all been to them. We've all got pissed in one. And I think it'll be fun to see where we are in Britain um, based on the Weatherspoons in which we're outside of. Uh, maybe we'll see some drunken louts or some piles of sick or some other disgusting sight. Um, it is Britain after all. So let's see what we find here on this All the Weatherspoons map. There are over 500 locations, which makes perfect sense because they are effing everywhere. Maybe we'll even get Aldridge, my hometown, which does have a rather interesting weather spoons. Here we go. Let's play it. Yeah, I'll do a challenge link. Um, I'll do no move. And that's it. We, we don't need a time limit. But uh, the challenge link means that you can play along and try and beat my score. Uh, if you're not sure how that's going to work, um, look at the instructions in the description and see how you can play along without ruining the video. Wow, look at that. It's right in the middle of the picture to begin with. AJD Weatherspoon Freehouse. The old chapel. And here it is. And then right opposite the road, very strategically placed, is the Crunchy Plus chicken and pizza bar, which would just be heaving um, of a Saturday and Friday night. Is that a marina over there? No, that's just um, just a sort of square by the looks of it. Uh, I, I was going to say it looks a bit Scottish, but we've got an England flag there, which you most definitely wouldn't find flying in Scotland. Darwin. That is a place, isn't it? That's a place in Yorkshire or Lancashire. That could also cause some issues in the comments. Darwin is either in Yorkshire or Lancashire. It might be Lancashire, actually. So, And the hills in the distance would back that up. Looks really nice, to be fair. Darwin. So let's find it. Let's get in on the map. What does that say first? Can't read that. Yeah. And the weather spoons itself, you know, not a hive of activity. Maybe this was taken recently during COVID, might explain it. Uh, in which case, there won't be many appalling sights to see. But Darwin, where's that? Darwin. Darwin, because I'm sure I've... Obviously, I've been playing a lot of UK map recently, and but that was a couple of weeks ago. But definitely a couple of weeks ago, I could have told you where it is, but it's here. Here it is, Darwin. In fact, I'll tell you what's in Darwin. That massive chimney that Fred Dibner climbed up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a link to the um, video in the description because Fred Dibner is one of the greatest men to ever walk the earth. He was climbing up chimneys and steeples with no ropes, just ladders and a bolt and a hammer. And then he'd attach the ladder, carry on up, absolute balls of steel and he was doing that about age 60 but I can't see that chimney maybe the weather spoons is blocking it but here we go um, maybe that wasn't in Darwin I don't know anyway let's try and find the main square though India Mill chimney that's it that's the one beautiful chimney check out that video if you want to see a mad old Lancashire and climb up it. There we are. I was close. So there we are. There's the oh, it's the Market Square. Nice, cool. And we are right in line with Crunchy Plus. So I'm hoping for a perfect score, and there it is. That was cool. Next one. The Corn Exchange. Is that the Weather Spoons? We're facing it right away. So maybe. Um, whoever made this map, shout out to you, by the way. I never get the names, I know. It's 
becoming a joke but thanks for emailing me this map and making it presuming it was you who made it so there it is the corn exchange brothock taxis i think this one is scotland um but still no drunkards outside it must be covid must that confirms it um marketplace angus cycle hub that just confirms the scotland for me Ooh, gravesend okay our broth heritage okay we've got lots of clues here we can get this i thought i nearly shut myself then i thought we were in kent which would have been embarrassing okay our broth our broth now that's one of those ones that i do forget where it is ah no there it is it's up the coast from dundee our broth can we find the weather spoons? Yes, we can. It's right over here. The corn exchange. And this is where we are. Gravesend is the street name. And I can pretty safely say that we are there. Can I? Yes. Five yards. We're getting a perfect score on this one. I'm putting it out there. Right. Here's our next weather spoons. We've got to be near the sea because look at that. It's an old boy, an old metal boy, and we've got water down there. That is a big coastal building. And I believe that might be in Liverpool. That might be one of the Liverpool apartment buildings in the docks. But I'm not sure. But over here we've got more sort of historical things which would back up Liverpool. <laughs> Some large buildings over there. And that, the Badger building. The Badger? Is that Bodger or Badger? Either way, I ain't eating the mashed potato in that establishment. Um, right. Craft. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, God. Okay, shall I get into Liverpool then? Because that's... No, wait a minute. It's kind of the wrong direction. No, not necessarily, not necessarily. Let's go in there and see if we can find the bodger or the badger. Okay, so where I'm thinking is around here. You know, uh, what's that? Liverpool waters temporarily closed. But these are the docks I'm thinking. Alexandra Tower. No, I can't find this, and I'm doubting it's Liverpool, just as I said that I'm definitely going to get a perfect score. The Lodger building, I think that says. So it's not Bodger or Badger. The Lodger building, does that change anything here? Have I scanned over that? No, it's just Liverpool Waters, isn't it? Right, okay. Back to square one then. We can get this because that's a tall building. That's the way I'm looking at this. Um, we know we're by the sea because it's maritime. That's a tall building. God, I still think we're here, you know. I really do. I think that is that building. I, look, look at it. Look at the shape of it. You can even see the shape. It's it's definitely similar, but then we've got no buildings down here. I guess that doesn't really add up. Those buildings over there. Also, that building goes right up to that, and on the map it doesn't. It's really far away. No, we'd, we'd have to be there and we're just not. There's nothing there. Unless the map is lacking in detail. Right. What other city could this possibly be? I want a perfect score, by the way. So shut up. Um, what could this possibly be? Could it be London? Could it be Canary Wharf? That sort of area. Am I disregarding that? Mm, 
you know. No, I don't know. Could it be Belfast? Maybe Belfast. Let's have a little look. No, the docks, uh, there aren't really any docks that close to the center. I guess, am I ruling out Dublin here? Am I ruling out Dublin? Doesn't look very Irish though, does it? Like, could this really be Ireland? No, because of the number plates. So back to Liverpool it is. It didn't add up on the map, but I'm just kind of... Just going to say it is Liverpool, even though I don't think it is. And that the map is lacking in detail. So here we go. Uh, where do I go? Uh, Jesus. I'll go there. Be intriguing to see where this actually is. It was London and it was Canary Wharf. Well, for God's sake. It's the Ledger building. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. That's north. The building is north, right? So what the hell is going on there? The compass is wrong. That's not wrong. That's the map. The compass is wrong. Right? Ah, uh, annoying. Perfect score over. Last two rounds. Here we go. The three John Scots. Where could this one be? It's another big city. There it is. The three John. Oh, have we got drunkards coming out? Mm, maybe a bit worse for wear. Maybe spent a couple more hours than they should have done. And, you know, they've walked out and the lights hit them. You know, taking it easy down the steps there. But, no, nothing too embarrassing. Uh, so where could this be? The three John Scots. I think our biggest clues are over here. You know, these big buildings over here. What's that? Kind of looks like St. Paul's Cathedral, but a modern version of it. Okay, nice church. Lowgate House. Burstall's Solicitors. Williamson's. Okay, this could be one that we don't get then, guys. Because there's no... There's no real clear-cut clue, is there? And with the perfect score out the window, it's not really worth me searching every city centre. Uh, but it's clearly a big city. Could be something like Nottingham. The Three John Scots. Lovely old building. This is the thing with Weatherspoons, by the way. They kind of occupy very old historic buildings that's kind of their thing uh, in Aldridge my little hometown it's an old art deco 1920 cinema that they took over which was a bingo hall for years but sometimes they're very historic buildings like courthouses or libraries uh, which this one probably falls under that category so they are interesting places to go what city this is, I don't know. Um, let's have a little look. I'll go into Nottingham. Got to be very careful not to get into a mode where I'm trying to find the city because it would take ages. Some of you I know would like me to persevere and do that. And you know what? I will. I'll speed it up though. I'll search. Not I'll search a couple of cities now for you. So Nottingham. Uh, we're looking for, you know, this big building here. What what are we looking for? What's the thing that we'll find on the map? That's the question. Uh, Williamson's. Duh, 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 duh. It's hard to know. A big church with the three John Scots. Not easy. Not easy and harder. The bigger the city, the harder. St. Peter's Church. Oh, no. No, this is going to be hard because I don't have enough information. 
and there are a lot of a lot of big cities aren't there you know it could be Derby Coventry um, Southampton Portsmouth Northampton I guess there's not too many but there's enough Reading could easily be Reading let's have a little look but the key thing is here I don't have enough information I'd have to be searching for the church which are very hard to find on the map and the actual pub so I'm just going to go with Nottingham and admit defeat with this one but again it'll be interesting to see where this is Hull another big city which I didn't mention so that that might have taken me a while to even get into Hull but there it is how easy would that be to find I'd probably start over here it does stick out on the map but Hull yeah I think that would have took me a while so phew last one here's our last Weatherspoons, and this is an interesting one look as I say old cinemas it's an old picture house and they've kept the original sign or at least uh, paid homage to it Weatherspoons, the regal that's an art deco cinema no two ways about it uh, right where are we is it the West Midlands no no it's not blue arrow let's keep looking around I like this it's a lot more relaxed than the UK maps I have been playing. I am looking forward to go going back to a pub in general, uh, obviously. But Weatherspoons, they have their time and a place. I mean, if you really wanted to, if you really were fond of the beer and crap food, you could go in there at 8am and order a pint for about... As cheap as one eighty nine, one pound eighty nine, so two and a half dollars. Uh, some of the cheaper beers in there, uh, and put it this way: you could get a burger, chips, a big meal, and a pint for about five pounds. It's incomparable in terms of prices, but I'm flapping here because I'm I'm not sure Wagamama. That's another good place to eat. The Bastille Bar. Yeah, I'm not sure what city we are in here. So as soon as I said I'm going to get a perfect score, I think the GeoGuessr gods were watching intently, listening intently, and replied with, we'll see about that. I really don't know. I'm really struggling. We do have nice historical old buildings like this one park and ride we've got look at this this is probably our best clue uh, but I just can't read it you know but park and ride does indicate we're in a big city is that a cathedral in the distance it looks like a big church could that be Salisbury Cathedral should we have a look I don't think we're in Salisbury but let's try it it's it's a cathedral with a tall spire and Salisbury does have the tallest cathedral in Britain. What angle are we at? Well, no, we're totally at the... So we'd be up here. I'm getting a good vibe. George and Dragon. The, the road completely correlates. Avon Brewery, George and Dragon. No picture house. Oh, that's disappointing. That is dis... I thought I had it there. You can see the cathedral. Okay, let's see where we were. Cambridge. Cambridge. Wow. There it is. The Regal Weatherspoon with Arts Picture. Arts Picture. Arts Picture House. So they do still show. So the signs are there for a reason. That's good to know. And it's Church of Our Lady, something or other, um, was the church. Not a cathedral, but Cambridge. Yeah, hold my hands up. Didn't get those Cambridge vibes, which are distinctive. And there's the summary. 13406 in the end. Pretty naff. Good start. Naff. Rest. Um, yeah, well done if you beat me. I'm sure lots of you did. Uh, even weller done if you got five 
correct cities and even weller done than that if you got a perfect score that's a great effort you truly are a master of cheap beer and i'm sure as a result you're going to have a great weekend i will do the same i'll be hiking up in yorkshire this weekend um hopefully managing to squeeze a couple of pub gardens in um so yeah take care everyone have a good weekend and uh, i'll see you all very soon